afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, where you are, take your greetings. Today, in my video, I'm going to show you how I make oha soup. Oha soup is a kind of soup that Igbos are known for, you know, it's one of the Igbo soup, special soup. So that's what I'm going to show you how I prepare today. Now here, I have the oha itself. It's been in the freezer and uh, I'm even going to put it back now immediately because uh, otherwise it will melt. So I'll bring it out again when I want to add it to the soup. So this one is the oha. Here is the ede. I'm going to use ede to take in the soup. I'm yet to boil it. I'll cut each into two. I'm not going to peel it. I'll cut each into two, boil it, then match it kind of to take in the soup. I have salt in here, of course, salt is in a vitamin. When we cook, we need our salt always. Here is ogili, it's Igbo special kind of um, uh, ingredients for making soup. It gives this aroma in the soup. So I'm going to use it. Here is my red oil. Here I have a uh, stock fish and the uh, dry fish. Here. Here is shaki. Over here, crayfish. Fresh pepper cubes. Here I have ice fish. I'm going to use. I love ice fish. I will, if there's anything I have not shown to you here, I will let you know later, okay? So, let's go and start doing the business. Right here, I've, uh, I've put the meat on fire. It's on fire now. The stock fish is inside already. I'm going to boil it as usual. Kind of uh, seasoning, you know. But um, I've not added the shaki yet because but it's not that uh, firm, you know. If I should add it now, before, before you know it's to get them too soft, and then the dry fish too will come in later, and the ice fish will add it later. Okay, so it's like this now, and it's on fire. affect it from cooking you know to affect the cooking it will not get soft so to not uh, get done you know it will harden and uh, to be useless it will not uh, you can't use it anymore you start looking for something else to use so because of that i learned from my mom so i don't peel it i'll just wash cuts like this and then I'm going to add um, some red oil. Okay, I use red oil because uh, normally uh, those days we we use them. Um, what we call them, um, banga. You know, banga, homemade banga. You make yourself. You boil it. You match it, and uh, we call it imwapu. So we we'll do it. We we'll use it to cook. Not red oil. Do at times shall we use? To but uh, here yeah, I don't uh, know they have banga here, can't, but I don't like it. Uh, it, do, it doesn't give me the taste I want to have, so I prefer using red oil. So I'm going to add my red oil. I'm 
gonna add two of this. I don't use too much oil while making my food because um, you know red oil now is uh, we need fats in our body system, but not in excess. In excess is going to give us uh, God help us. It may cause health problems. So I don't use much. I just add it because. The body needs fat and them um, to brighten my food, but not in excess. Okay, I've added the red color. Okay, my ice fish. This ice fish. I'm adding it now because um, I will let it cook for some few minutes. I will not leave it. Do not remain until the soup is ready. Why? Because it's in the course of stirring the soup, you know, it may get scattered and the, the bones, you know, they are not good, especially where there are kids. I have kids still uh, tender, kind of. So I'm only adding it now so it boils and the, the taste gets extracted into the soup, you know, into the sauce. So the taste will be there. Then after that, I'm going to remove the the fish then maybe add it back almost at the end or at times I wouldn't even add it back when the soup is ready I can now throw it inside the soup of course I'm going to put my soup in the freezer so to not give it any negative you know get it uh, sour or, or, or something like that so I'll leave it to boil to get the, for the taste to get extracted into the soup into to the sauce and cook it then after that Pieces so you know when you eat like we from 
weavers, we like who are eating, we are getting the pieces, you know, the pieces of fish and the product accompany. <laughs> so that is it. I I do it like that. So I've already made them into that form, that smaller pieces. I'll be adding. I'll be adding to it until I get the desired uh, texture I want. Guys, this is the ogili. The ogili. Ogili. Ogili is mixing it with um, water. And I'll put it inside. type of pepper blended just a little quantity because otherwise it will be too peppery and my kids you know, to be an excuse extra excuse because they don't eat so I've added it oh my people do you know I almost forgot this this is Uziza you know I was not getting the aroma I was like oh this is not my <laughs> for our this is not the aroma now get to remember that mm, I have not added it. So this is it I'm putting now. This is it. Love it. And finally comes the Kohan itself. The color changed because I preserved it in the freezer. This Oha you've seen here is has been in the freezer for over almost one year now. I didn't have a choice. enjoy this video don't you forget to subscribe if you have not done so please and touch the notification button beside the subscription where you subscribe so that you can always get my my videos okay and finally don't forget to leave your comments leave your comments like you touch the the like uh, you know sign there and uh, you can share as well thank you very much for having you okay may god bless you all and hope to see you very 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 soon in my next video in our next video because we have different it's not only cooking we do we do other things so that is why it's important you you, you activate the active the, the notification bell so you can get all this, okay? Thank you very much. And see you next time.